Hydrapple is the newest addition to the Applin Evolution line. While Diplin was a bit of a letdown and very weak, Hydrapple's improved stats and new signature move in Fickle Beam make it a very promising choice for VGC teams. Today, let's explore some movesets and showcase it in a battle so you can know if it's right for your team. If you enjoyed this video at any point in time, be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more competitive Pokemon content. But first, this channel is partnered with Gamersups. If you want to support my work and get great tasting drinks, you can order Gamersups through my link in the description down below or with code MOXIEBOOSTER at checkout for 10% off. Gamersups is a caffeinated product that I recommend only to my 18 plus viewers, but my link will send you to their caffeine free product section just in case. Every product purchased through my link supports my channel financially, so I'd really appreciate the support. Now back to the video. Okay, so Hydrapple. This mon is really interesting because in in terms of stats, it has some pretty great stats. 106 HP, 110 defense, 120 special attack, 80 special defense, and 44 speed. Personally, I would have preferred for it to be slower to make it a better trick room attacker, but this thing has like insane burst damage. And to put it in very clear terms, its burst damage is very fickle. That's not even a pun, it's just true. Uh, yeah. Uh, I mean, the stats are pretty amazing. It has great abilities in Super Sweet Syrup and Regenerator. It also has Sticky Hold, which I don't think is the best for most situations, but it is nice to not be able to have your Leftovers or Assault Vest knocked off. Um, but yeah, I think that for the most part, you will want to run Regenerator on this guy. However, if you want to use it in a way that is novel and not like just a worse version of any other grass type, you probably want Super Sweet Syrup because on the right team, this thing can go kind of crazy. It lets you land your Hypnosis's. Uh, you have no fear of missing a Leaf Storm or Draco Meteor from this guy. It's just a really interesting Pokemon overall. But yeah, uh, let's go ahead and get into it. Like I said, you know, if you guys enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe, turn notifications. And yeah, let's get into the first moveset. The first moveset I have for you guys is an Assault Vest Terra Poison set. This is going to be making use of Fickle Beam, Giga Drain, Draco Meteor, and Earth Power with 252 HP, 4 Defense, 236 Special Attack, 12 Special Defense, and 4 Speed. The 236... Uh, is just hitting a bump. A lot of people ask me, what does the bump mean? Basically, if you were to invest 228 into its special attack stat, it would hit 185. However, since we're investing 236, which is basically where you would expect it to go to 186, it actually goes to 187. A stat bump is just when you get two points instead of one when you expect one. Like that's just how, that's what a stat bump is. I explain it a lot, but I just want to make it clear because a lot of people are new to the channel. Uh, but yeah, so this moveset is just maximizing the bulk from HP with an Assault Vest, um, as well as just making sure you have like really good damage output. And we will be making use of Super Sweet Syrup on this set. However, you can also swap that out for Regenerator if you'd really like. Um, but Super Sweet Syrup will make it so you never have to worry about missing a Draco Meteor. And if you pair it with something like a Will-O-Wisp Pokemon or a Hypnosis Pokemon or Rock Slide or even like Heat Wave or Magma Storm, you don't have to worry about missing them quite as much. It's like, it makes it a very secure option to go for those moves. Um, but you do have to be careful. Defiant Pokemon, love this. You know, you give a King Gambit instantly plus two attack. It's basically over. So you have to be careful with it. But yeah, Pickle Beam is the really interesting move that this guy has. It does have um, that move Syrup Bomb, but I don't like Syrup Bomb. I don't think it's like super useful on this guy. I think you mostly just want to run like Giga Drain as your grass stab since it allows you to recover health. Um, with the Assault Vest and Regenerate and stuff, but yeah, Pickle Beam is the better signature move for this guy. It's 80 base power, and 30% of the time, a little under one-third, it just doubles in power. Keep in mind, 80 times 2 is 160. Draco Meteor is 130 with 90 accuracy, and it lowers your special attack step by 2. Fickle Beam will just randomly become stronger than Draco Meteor. It's hilarious. I In the showcase that we're going to show after this, I, I land it, and it just does insane damage. Um, but yeah, this Mon can just randomly one shot something uh and i don't know how i feel about it but it's very funny and yeah beyond that you have draco meteor if you absolutely need to nuke something like if you have to go for it um but we also have giga drain just to recover health that will allow you to snipe urshifus and usually one shot them if they're not terribly bulky uh and we do have earth power as a way to take on opposing heatran and other uh fire types like incineroar uh because you know you're not going to be doing too much with dragon moves versus steel a steel type pokemon um, and you know, your grass move would just bounce off it. So earth power is just like a really nice final option that you basically always want to run on the guy, except for our next move set, which is going to be the leftovers regenerator one. This one's a little bit more defensive. We hit a lower bump. We're hitting 156 special attack that gives us 176 as our stat. Um, but we're max HP, 92 defense, four special defense, four speed. Uh, I just dumped the bulk because we really don't know what we want this guy to live right now. Like it's fairly bulky. You can get it to live like a Specs Moonblast by going more into the special defense um, 
of this guy and changing your uh, Terra type to like poison or whatever. Uh, but this is Terra Water. Uh, basically, this one is just running Fickle Beam and Giga Drain with Protect and Yawn. Um, this set is more like of a Disruptor Pokemon. Think about how um, how Gastronom plays. Gastronom, you know, will have some burst damage with like Ice Beam and Earth Power and stuff. Uh, but for the most part, it's going to be clicking Protect and Yawn to just really mess with like setup Pokemon. If you face like a Don Dozo, you can Yawn on it and then Protect and then it goes to sleep. Uh, or if you're like facing off versus a King Gambit and they get up to like plus six, if you can call like a Sucker Punch and Yawn on the correct turn, then yeah, like they're just done. Like they have to switch out or they lose the Gambit. So that's the main idea with this set. Um, trying to think what other situation you would want to bring this to. It's a very niche option. I don't think that a lot of uh, Hydra Apples will actually run Yawn, uh, but this is one of the few applications where you like you probably wouldn't run just like an all-out attacking set. I don't know. I feel like if this mod had better uh, support options other than, you know, Yawn, <laughs> it would be kind of interesting. I mean, it does get like Reflect and Recover and stuff. If you wanted, you could drop Protect here for Recover and that would get you a little bit more longevity in some situations. Um, but you could also run like Pollen Puff on this set if you really wanted to. You could drop like Protect for that. Uh, but I don't know. I feel like Protect is the most important part of running Yawn on a Pokemon. Otherwise, it's like, okay, well, you're going to Yawn and then lose your Mon because they just attack you anyways. I don't know. I'm not a huge fan of this set. I just figured I'd give you the option because it is something that I can do. Let's move on to the final set. Uh, this one is just a choice spec set. Max HP, 4 defense, 252 uh, special attack. Uh, and it's very basic. We're using Super Sweet Syrup instead of uh, Regenerator here because Leaf Storm and Draco Meteor are both 90 accuracy and missing that would very much suck. So by running Leaf Storm, Draco, Earth Power, and Fickle Beam, you basically are always able to go for Leaf Storm with like no fear of missing versus like an Urshifu if you really need to land it. Um, you can Draco into like a Tornadus, you have no fear of missing. Uh, and yeah, Earth Power is just there because you are a choice spec set. You want to be able to one shot like opposing uh, fire types, whether it be like an Arcanine or like a less bulky Incineroar. Uh, but yeah, this is a very basic Pokemon. Some partners I would recommend for it, definitely Incineroar and like Urshifu. Those are two of the best partners for it, mainly just because um, the Fire, Water, Grass core is super strong. Uh, and if you're going to run this one, it probably needs a little bit stronger partners than other Pokemon like Amoongus, which can carry a team on their back. It's very much, um, I don't know how else to put it, a fickle Pokemon. Uh, yeah, other partners, uh, anything with like an inaccurate move that you would want to connect more often. Uh, there are some people saying like, oh, it'd be a decent Groudon partner once we have restricted formats so you can like always land your Presbus Blades. Uh, but I don't know if it's going to be that good uh, to be used in a restricted format. For right now, I think the Hypnosis Mons like Espathra, Iron Valley, and Gothitelle um, are going to be the best options to run next to it, which is really what kind of holds it back as a Pokemon. It's like strong and it has these cool tools, but the only reason you would run it over other things is to land Hypnosis's. And all the Pokemon that run Hypnosis right now are fairly weak and competitive. So it's almost like you're it's almost like you're like holding yourself back. Like, yeah, I want to run this Pokemon that lets me land Hypnosis, but the only good Hypnosis mons are bottom tiers. So, you know, it is what it is. Um, we will be showcasing this right now. I think it's a really cool Pokemon. I think I made a pretty solid team for it. Um, it might be the same team that I use in the full showcase with like, you know, the fun thumbnail and the editing and stuff, but we'll see how it ends up turning out. Uh, for now, let's go ahead and get into that. Okay, let's uh, take Hydrapple for a spin. So, I, I don't know why I keep calling it Hydraplin. I just I just like keep messing up the name, but um, the set I'm going to be using is the Assault Vest set that I talked about uh, just a bit earlier in the video. Uh, and yeah, uh, we're going to be using it with just some sort of meme -y stuff. I don't know. I, I think that it's very hard to justify using Hydrapple if you're not using it for its primary signature ability, which is, of course, Super Sweet Syrup. So we're going to be going for this. I'm going to also I shiny hunted this It's pretty cool, right? Oh, Okay, I guess we'll just come back when we have a battle. Okay, like I was saying, I actually shiny hunted for this guy before uh, the DLC came out. I just, I don't know, I think he's a cool shiny. But yeah, we're going to be using um, Super Sweet Syrup in tandem with... <laughs> sorry. Um, in, in tandem with a Focus Blast, Choice Specs, Golden Go, um, as well as a Gothitelle with access to um, Hypnosis. So, I don't know, this is a little bit of a meme -er way of using it, but I really want to try it out, and this matchup doesn't look too bad. As a matter of fact, it looks pretty positive, so we're, we're going to go ahead and lead off with Hydrapple and Gothitelle. Um, 
And I'm going to bring the... I think I need... Well, it depends. I'm kind of concerned that the Thunderous or Tornadus, one of the two is going to be Defiant. Probably the, the Thunderous, if anything. Because I don't know why you would run Thunderous on this team. Eh, maybe you just want to click Wild Bolt Storm. Um, yeah, we'll go with these two goobers. See what we can do. Of course, we are still on the casual battle ladder. That's because it is December 28th, and the ladder doesn't reset until the 4th of January. Alright, uh, honestly, pretty solid lead. I wouldn't mind going for Terra Poison here. Alright, they're going to get a defense boost. That's fine. We actually can't miss our Draco Meteor now, so that's going to be really solid damage into the guy. We could also go for a Psychic, but I think that Hypnosis is going to be a little bit more reliable. Um, I don't want to lose my special attack stat just yet. We're going to go for a Fickle Beam and just roll the dice. Uh, and I am going to go for a Hypnosis onto you. Because I have a feeling this is going to Terra, if anything. And I don't see a point of going for Fake Out because they have two faster Fake Out users. Let's just go for it. As it looks like they're going to choose not to Terra, I could have gone for a Psychic, I guess. I don't know, maybe we'll get lucky and we'll immediately get the uh, the Fickle Beam double. It's 30%. There's one fake out. That means they didn't fake out with this guy. They go for a Dire Claw. It should just bounce off of us. Hopefully no status and we get paralyzed. Okay, that's great. Fickle Beam. Uh, annihilate the Sneasler. Okay, well, off to a great start. Off to, off to just a great start, actually. Um, ooh, I do not like Sneasler at all. I do not like Sneasler. Let's go ahead and Fickle Beam this guy, and I am going to go for Hypnosis here. I, I don't know. I just, I just get the feeling that they're going to Terra this time. Seeing as I'm able to actually move. We go for a Dire Claw. Can we not get, um, like, Slept or Prayer? Okay, we get Paralyzed again. Balanced move. Very balanced move. Go for a knockoff. That is just going to knock us out. Okay, great, great. Already off to a great start. Uh, Fickle Beam, can we please annihilate this guy? Oh, oh, looks like we got it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Okay, so luckily for me, I did bring the Specs Golden Go, which can actually turn the tides here. I think Choice Specs make it rain, should be able to pick it up on this guy. Uh, just in case, we're going to Fickle Beam again here. Actually, I suppose I'm more concerned with this thing at this point. We're going to Fickle Beam, and we're going to make it rain. That was, that was a really unfortunate first turn. I would have loved to have gotten some damage off. Go for another Dire Claw. It's just going to bounce off of us. Make it rain. Can I pick up this double KO? Not quite. Glad we Fickle Beamed into the right slot then, because I really hate playing against this thing. Go for a knockoff. We're going to lose our choice specs. And don't get fully paralyzed. Thank you. All right. I mean, Fickle Beam kind of carrying. I kind of hate that Super Sweet Syrup only activates once per battle. It's kind of lame. They send in the Thunderous, I would assume. Okay. That's not terrible. I think I am just going to Fickle. I could also Draco here. And try to secure the KO. Ah, uh, two Fickles should do it. 
Or, and I can also go for a Fickle into a Draco. Because I don't think a single Draco would do it. So, like, one Fickle, one Draco is technically the optimal way to play this, like, next couple of turns out. Because there's a chance I just get the 140 immediately. Or, sorry, 160. Because it's 80 base power, isn't it? We'll also get this Intimidate off. And as long as this guy isn't Defiant, which I really doubt it is, we'll be fine. Alright. Here's the Eerie Impulse. Does not affect me. It wouldn't have affected the freaking dude anyways. Yeah, that wouldn't have affected the, um... The Golden Go. Good as gold would have activated. That's weird. Alright, give me the double. I, I don't know, I just get the feeling I'm going to get the double here. Chip. Oh, <laughs> we got the double again. <laughs> oh my god. That's hilarious. That is, I think, I think this Pokemon's hilarious now. Okay. This move is kind of stupid. I mean, if you can keep the guy on the field long enough, the move gets kind of stupid. Alright, um, let's just Fickle Beam you. I'll send in String Cheese again. Obviously, we want another Intimidate. Kind of wish I had Knock Off now. I I'm running Will-O-Wisp just because it's like, hey, you know, haha, <laughs> super sweet syrup. I'll never miss it. But, I don't know. Now I wish I had knockoff. It'd make the Umbreon matchup a lot easier. Go for the fake out. And a snarl. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Scary. Alright, I think we can... I th Wait, doesn't Terrain go away this turn? Because if that's the case, we can just get in the Incineroar and... Yeah, okay. We're going to click Make It Rain. That's definitely an Assault Vested Rillaboom since it took the Fickle Beam like super well. So we will just make it rain here. And pick up that KO. All right, nice. Should just be snarling again. Can you KO the... Oh, yeah, okay. I was gonna say, can you KO the, uh, the Golden Go, please? And from this point on, I'm just gonna click Fickle Beam because it's funny. Also, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be leftover. Yeah, it's leftovers, so we're gonna go ahead and go for a Will-O-Wisp just to under, uh, undo those leftovers. And we're going to click Fickle Beam. I should have PP maxed Fickle Beam. I don't know why. I was too lazy. I just didn't feel like it. This isn't the full showcase. We'll do a full showcase in a couple of days here. Will-O-Wisp. Fickle. And I have a feeling this is going to be a really annoying and long endgame. As they decide to Terra. What Terra could you possibly be? Don't be fire. Okay, poison. That's fine, I guess. I don't know how that changes this matchup at all. Maybe they're concerned to have, like, low kick? Alright, leftovers are neutralized now. As long as they don't have, like, a moonlight, I should be fine. They opt to foul play. Pickle Beam. Annihilate the Zumbreon. Okay, it wasn't quite as strong as I hoped. But I will just be clicking Flare Blitz now. Actually, technically the optimal play here is Flare Blitz Draco. Just to make sure I pick up the KO, even though they like are probably going to Snarl. 
yeah they forfeit nice okay that was a really good example as to like how you can like use this mon i'm, I'm happy i got that uh basically you know <laughs> i think we got like basically two doubles on the fickle beam and i didn't have to fish for that too much but yeah thank you so much for watching you know if you enjoyed leave a like subscribe turn notifications uh because you don't want to miss the showcase this pokemon's gonna go crazy in the showcase i can already feel it uh and yeah have a nice one bye <laughs>